I'm Kid Care again. I'm a full-time streamer on Twitch and I'm going to take you through the new revamped media request tool for stream elements. First, I'll give you an overview of what the new media request tool is and then give you a bit of information on both the song requests and the media sharing available within the new media request tool. As you can see, in the, the new interface for the media requests. This is a place where you can have both your song requests come through from your chat. Um, so songs that are just gonna play in the background of your stream, but you can also choose whether or not you want to show that media on your stream. In order to show the media on the stream though, you need to make sure that you have the widget for the media request tool um, set up in your overlay as well. But we'll come back to that a little bit later. So here you have a button for viewer requests where you can turn that on and off. This basically just toggles on uh, whether your viewers can actually request songs or not through this feature, or if you just want to solely manage any content that comes through here yourself. Then you also have the queue moderation toggle. Um, this provides an option for yourself and your moderators uh, who have access to this tool to be able to go in and approve any requests that come through at the bottom here. So you can just approve all of them or you can approve them as they come through, but that's up to you whether you want to do that or not. For those of you that do have queue moderation turned on, you can also turn on this bell here. Uh, if the notifications for this are turned on, then you'll hear a ding every time someone enters a new song into the queue. So you know to go in there and check. So here you have the, the regular play, skip, um, seek bar and volume controls. That's all up to you if you would like to use that. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with those. So we'll talk more about this show on stream toggle. Basically all this button does is while you're really playing the video, perfect. if you toggle this on, uh, it will send the video through to your stream and show it in your overlay through the widget. Currently, I don't have a widget in my overlay for this because I'm gonna show you how to do that <laughs> later. So the tool will warn you if that's the case. You'll notice that the tool's been loaded with a backup playlist, which is currently this video for the older version of this tool. Um, we'll tell you in a bit how to add your own backup playlist, but do know that the default one can't be moved. So we do recommend adding your own backup playlist of artists and songs that you enjoy. So here you can see that you can add some media to your list. This is for you to add any videos that you like. So I'm just going to add some of uh, my own videos from my YouTube channel in here. here and now that we have one in the queue, that's disappeared and we can click the add media button here. We can add this one as well. And you can see that they're both here in the queue. You can um, click and drag these around to change the order if you wish to do that. Uh, this You can do this whether you put in the songs yourself or whether your chat puts them in, completely up to you, totally customizable. You can see the history of any videos that have been played here um, so that you can always go back and find them if you wanna add them back to the queue. Clear your history if you like as well. You can remove all of the videos in the queue or you can just cancel them individually with these X buttons as well. So now let's check out the settings for the media request tool. So if you click on the settings, you can see here that you have the media request mode. This shows you how you want to accept your song request. Do you want them to be free via tips only or a combination of both? So you can allow um, your chat to just request any songs they want for free or you can require that a tip be attached to that that's completely up to you it's a personal preference might depend on the size of your community as well so um, that's totally up to you for the queue limit if you want to limit the amount of spam that um, that you get through the song request for example the amount of songs that can be added to the queue overall at a time uh, a maximum duration per request I tend to keep this quite short. For example, mine might be about five minutes or something like that because there are those people that like to request those eight hours of yodeling songs, let's be real. The maximum amount of free requests per user, you can set that to whatever you like. Um, if you have someone who just likes to load up the playlist with as many songs as they can, you might wanna set that down to two or three. Again, completely up to you. And also the same for paid requests per user. Maybe keep it on unlimited though. For the backup playlist, this is where you put the playlist that the media request tool will play through if you have nothing in your queue that's been requested. So I can go to the playlist on my YouTube channel, for example, grab the link for that, put that in there. 
and that will load my my backup playlist by default. I'll remove all of these, yes, and then let's skip forward. And here you can see that it's loaded a bunch of videos from my backup playlist. So it will just continue running through these until we reach the new media requests that will come through. The backup playlist will stay the same until you decide to change it. So you can, if you feel like classical music one week and then country music the next week, there you go. You can just update your playlist. For the bot and loyalty, this is basically just the amount of loyalty points that it will cost people to be able to request music. So um, here you can say it costs 50 minerals, for example, in my channel. If you don't know, Kerrigan is a character from StarCraft 2. She's the queen of the Zerg. And minerals are our currency of choice. So there we go. We'll put 50 minerals in here. For the subscriber discount, if you're a subscriber, you can set a discount. For example, maybe subscribers can get uh, song requests for free. It won't cost them any loyalty points. Or you can make it a 50% discount. The minimum user level will allow you to control um, what types of users in your channel have access to this feature to be able to request. For example, everyone, people that you have set as regulars or people who are automatically picked up as being subscribers. So you can have subscriber only requests. Um, you can only allow moderators to add requests or if you have it set to broadcaster only, then you're the only one who currently has access to this. For tipped requests, uh, you can prioritize tipped requests to get pushed to the front of the queue in front of all of the free requests or enable a cost per second as well. So if you want to control how much content people can push to your channel per second, you can add that here. For example, $2 per second, $1 per second or 50 cents. Note though that the loyalty points can only be used here if you have this set to free or both. Um, likewise with the tipped requests options, those will only be active if it's via tip or via both. You can see that those options will disappear depending on what you choose anyway. So that should be able to help you see what you're dealing with. And then for YouTube, you can also limit the YouTube clips that are added to the song requests to only include music. You can blacklist videos as well. So for example, if I know that people are trying to request the same song that I don't like or a particular band that I don't like, I can add that in here, press enter, and it will include the link as, a, as being blacklisted and will never show you that video again. You can add some tags in here that it will filter, um, that it will filter out and not allow people to request those as well. So if there's uh, a particular band or a particular genre of music you don't like, try putting those tags in there. This auto filter will make sure that the requests that come through are quality videos. Generally more mainstream song requests will have these kinds of ratings and uh, number of views on the video. If you enjoy having meme media requests in your stream, you probably want to switch this to off. Do it at your own risk though. Make sure you have some band tags, make sure you have the moderation on. It's just a recommendation, totally up to you. But if you are a fiend of the dank memes, then you might want to go that route. So for these advanced settings, you can see that there's a skip backup list mid, mid track upon incoming request. Uh, that will allow the tool to skip forward um, in the queue as soon as someone enters a new song. So it doesn't wait until the end of the backup track. You might like that if your backup playlist starts getting a little bit repetitive or if you want your viewers requests to come through as soon as possible. You can also enable skip voting, uh, which will allow chat to veto particular songs as well. So you can turn that on and make it so that uh, five or 10 votes in chat are required uh, in order to veto a song. The exempt user level allows um, these people to be exempt from all of the restrictions that are in the rest of these settings. So for example, you might want that to just be moderators and above uh, that can get some requests for free or be able to veto and things like that. And then you can also add some banned users in here if you have one person who's always requesting things that might get you in trouble or particular songs that you don't like and you just want them to calm down on that for a while, pop their name in here. I'll just put my own name in for the sake of showing you how to do this. Press enter and it will have it saved in there and you can see up here it's saved. 
If you want to remove them again, if they are now reformed, you can press the X button and there you go, they are gone. So now let me show you how to add the media request tool to your overlays. So currently here, I don't have any overlays in this version of the website. This overlay is for Heroes of the Storm. Overlay name, basic overlay. You can set the resolution to whatever you like. I'll just leave it at 1080p for now. And then we'll go to the overlay editor. Click on widgets. And then you can search for media share. Add that. So you can see the little box here, which is where the video will appear. Make sure you kind of put it somewhere that's not going to be too intrusive for your content, somewhere that doesn't get in way of the action of what's happening on screen. Let's just leave it up here for now. Um, you have some toggles here for show the amount of time left in the request, show the amount, show the video title, uh, theme colors as well position and sizing, any text you want to change, as well as animations for when a video actually comes in and starts playing. So if I go back here to my media request page, I can see that there's currently a video playing. If I click this show on stream button here, it should appear over here in my overlay. And there it is. So you can see here that the options for the primary theme color is this bar down here that's counting down the amount of time. You can remove that. You can remove all of this extra data and only show the video if you like. You can increase the size of the video if you enjoy your memes a lot or a little bit. It's up to you what size you want to put it at. Depends on the game you're playing, the type of content you're trying to show. Uh, but you can feel free to edit that any way you like. Simple as that. Save it out. I hope you found this video helpful. Please let us know if you did by giving the video a thumbs up and subscribing to the Stream Elements YouTube channel. If you need some more ideas or support on Stream Elements, feel free to join the Discord server. The link's down below in the description. Also, there are a lot more tutorials on other Stream Elements features that you can see both on their YouTube, in the Discord, and in some links in the description down below as well. So thanks for stopping by. I hope to see you around the community. Bye.